How Times Have Changed, an extract from Mary Mary Quite Contrary by David Clark. Ladies, can you please come back to reality? Remember, you were made for your husband. This is an extract from the Parish News Magazine. Tips to look after your husband. 1950, Home Economics Book. Have dinner ready. Plan ahead the night before to have a delicious meal on time. This is a way to let him know that you have been thinking about him and are concerned about his needs. Most men are hungry when they come home and the prospects of a good meal are part of the warm welcome needed. Prepare yourself. Take 15 minutes to rest so you will be refreshed when he arrives. Touch up your makeup, put a ribbon in your hair and be fresh looking. He's just been with a lot of work weary people. Be a little gay and a little more interesting. His boring day may need a lift. Clear away the clutter. Make one last trip through the main part of the house just before your husband arrives. Gathering up school books, toys, papers and then run a duster over the table. Your husband will feel he has reached a haven of rest and order. Prepare the children. Take a few minutes to wash the children's hands and faces, if they are small, comb their hair and if necessary change their clothes. They are little treasures and he would like to see them playing the part. Minimise the noise. At the time of his arrival, eliminate all noise of washer, driver, dishwasher and vacuum. Try to encourage the children to be quiet. Be happy to see him. Greet him with a warm smile. Make him comfortable. Have him lean back in a comfortable chair or suggest he lie down in the bedroom. Have a cool or warm drink ready for him. Arrange his pillow and offer to take off his shoes. Speak in a low, soft, soothing voice. Allow him to relax and unwind. Listen to him. You may have dozens of things to tell him, but the moment of his arrival is not the time. Don't greet him with problems and complaints. Don't complain if he's late for dinner. Count this as minor compared to what he might have gone through that day. Let him talk first. Make the evening his. Never complain if he does not take you out to dinner or other places for entertainment. Try to understand his world and strain and pressure. He needs to relax at home. The goal? Make your home a place of peace and order where your husband can renew himself in body and in spirit.